outside of Moss Rose Piggeries in Blackpool, which is a Morrison's um, supplier and also a red tractor farm. Um, the farm's actually been investigated over the past few months and we've found multiple uh, animal welfare breaches of not only the red tractor guidelines but also of DEFRA guidelines. There are individuals inside that are covered in their own faeces, uh, individuals with um, you know, painful prolapses, um, there's a cockroach infestation inside, um, the, the place is just unsanitary, it's unhygienic and it, quite frankly it's just cruel. I aren't willing to speak to the BBC at all, just want to clarify that, I just want to get that on video. The, yeah, the farm right. are refusing to speak to the BBC about their apparently high welfare Morrison's red tractor farm. Okay. All right. Hello everyone. Welcome to another video. So in this video, we're going to talk about the recent scandal that's come out of Morrison's and recently a piggery called Moss Rose was exposed for horrific treatment of animals and they're a red tractor approved supplier of the supermarket chain Morrison's. Now, Virtue have uncovered this as investigation. It's quite horrific looking at the photos and footage now. But also what has happened with Morrison's recently, something on the complete opposite end of the spectrum is they have brought out a vegan pasty. Now, we all know when these big supermarket chains or companies bring out a vegan option, Pierce Morgan, old mate Piercy Boy has always got something to say about it. Listen to this. Exactly right. This is the meat appropriation thing, mm. where rather than call them pasties. vegan pasties, which nobody would buy, Just she calls them Cornish vegan pasties, mm. thereby trading and selling yeah. off the Cornish pasty umbrella. Mm. That's using meat titles, <laughs> a bit like yeah. vegan Greg's vegan sausage roll. Yeah, but if it's I not a, a sausage roll. Sausages a, are meat. If I have a Cornish so when you say tea, vegan sausage roll, it, you are it? using meat to sell your yeah, vegan nonsense. So I thought in true Joey Carbstrong style, what we'd do is ring up a bunch of Morrisons. Let's see if they've got the vegan pasty in stock. Let's see how it's selling. Let's go down there and buy a bunch. And let's go down there and see what the public think about this red tractor approved facade humane welfare guidelines fairy tale that Morrisons are pushing and see if they'll go for the vegan option instead. All right, so let's give them a call, see if they've got some sausage rolls. Hello, I was just wondering whether you have the vegan pasty in stock? Sorry, the... The vegan pasty? Uh, I'll have to put you through to someone. Yeah, maybe the bakehouse. Hello, I was just wondering if you have the vegan pasty in stock? Oh, what, sorry? The pasty? Vegan pasty? Yeah. The, the, the new vegan pasty. Oh, okay, sorry, bear with me one second. No, sorry, we don't do that. This isn't that Asda? Uh, it's been advertised everywhere, literally. Morrison's vegan pasty. Even... Yeah, we, we don't have that. You don't sell the vegan pasty no. there. No. Hello, Morrison's story. Can I speak now to help? Hello, I was wondering if you could connect me through to the bakehouse or the bakery there? Uh, you're actually speaking to the bakery manager? Oh, awesome. Uh, hey, I was just wondering, do you guys stock the vegan pasty? Vegan? Pasty? Pasty? Yeah. Uh, we're going to do them on a bakery. Uh, we do, we are range for them, but we don't have any at the moment. Uh, did they sell out, or did they...? Yeah, they sold out, so we our next, next delivery to come in. Okay. Uh, Is this another one of these hunting scenarios where we go around hunting vegan products and they're sold out everywhere? The first place didn't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> okay, let's try this one. Come on. We want a pasty. <laughs> Hello, I was just wondering if you stock the vegan Cornish pasty? Vegan Cornish pasty? Yeah. Um, so let me just, just use the other phone to phone someone up. Yeah, check with the bakehouse or something like that, that would be great, thank you. Yeah, yeah we do them, sir. They'll be by the deli counter. Uh, they're by the deli counter. They've got four. Okay, I'll... If you can... Uh, I'll just run in and try to grab them now, actually. They've only got four. We better be quick. <laughs> Alright, 
Looks like we're gonna have to go grab those four and see if we can find any more and take them out to the public. Let's do it. Okay, so here we are at the front of Morrison's. We've got the vegan pasties and the vegan sausage rolls. We're gonna hand them out to the public and see what they think about Red Tractor approved. Many who live in dirty, excrement covered concrete pens with no signs of bedding and hazardous tiled flooring that could easily cause the animals to sleep. Tell us what you think of it. What if I told you that was Red, red Tractor approved? Would you believe me? Red what? Red, what does this sign mean to you? Red Tractor approved? Never heard of it. Oh really? It's like a humane stamp of approval. And yeah. they put it on, if you go into Morrison's, you'll see it on the meat products, right? And this here, it was actually a farm that was stamped with the Red, red Tractor label. Right. Moss Rose Piggeries. So if you can see, they're on concrete floors. This is a factory farm. So Morrison's put this stamp of approval on there. But these pastries here actually contain no animal products at all. So there's no meat or anything in these. They're not? No, yeah. Bloody hell. This is a gas chamber. This is how they kill the pigs here in the UK. They lower them down into CO2 gas. Yeah. I know, don't they? Yeah. So this is a, uh, have you heard? What is, what, is, what constitutes the protein in this? I'm not, I think they use uh, soya beans or they, they might use um, uh, some potato or vegetables in here. It's vegetable, it's all vegetables, all vegetable protein. But um, this is vegan. Do you know what vegan is? Mm -hmm. So when you see something that's vegan, you know there's no animals being used in that product. If it's vegan, why do you make it taste like meat? Because people like yourself and myself have spent years and years eating meat, we want to transition people, so to give them something they're used to, an alternative that they're used to and familiar with, without the violence and cruelty in there. No? So when I find the Morrisons, yeah. how do I know if I'm buying that product or another product? Well, if you, if you see these labelled vegan, you'll know that there's no animal products in there. If you see this stamp on some meat, you don't know whether it's coming from there or where it's coming from, but they use this stamp to, to assure the public, to make people comfortable about buying animal products. But with vegan, you know, there's no animal products in there at all. There's no flesh, there's no... Yeah, it's got that label on, it's got animal products. Yeah, this is, a, this is like a humane stamp of approval that Morrison's use. Hello, how are you? Hi, try some. You wanna try some? Yeah. yeah? It's a pasty and sausage mine. roll. Yeah, we'll have that one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Tell us what you think first. Try yeah, of course, of course. Help yourself. Thanks very much. Okay. But the word is vegan. Okay, so this product won't have that stamp on. No, no, this is only for meat. Okay. Meat and dairy and eggs, so. Here, let me chuck one of these in your bag. There you go. Cheers. Do you like it? Yeah, it's nice. What's different about it? Tell me what's different about it. What if I told you it was Red Tractor approved? Do you know what that means? No, but I think my friend's dark works. Okay, it's like guidelines that they have to adhere to for humane standards of, yeah. uh, you know, raising animal products, made, raising animals for products. This here is a Red Tractor approved farm that supplies Morrison's. This is a prolapse, it's like a painful yeah. sore coming out of their bottom. They're on these floors here suffering. This was actually exposed just recently and they supply Morrison's and they put this stamp of approval on Morrison's meat. Yeah. Okay, but can you guess what meat is in there? There's no meat in there at all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're vegan. That's really good, actually. Yeah. 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 How's that? So, you, they, they, what do you think about how they put this stamp on meat that ends up being from places like this? This is a gas chamber. They put the pigs in there. And they kill them in this gas. They suffocate them, stun them. So they put this stamp of approval so people think it's humane and everything's okay. But when you buy vegan products, you know, you guarantee there's no animals in there. You guarantee. So, what do you think about that? You think that's good to know? Yeah, definitely. This here, 
a little vegan challenge. It's free on Facebook. Okay. And now there's land, land of hope and glory, all UK farms and abattoirs. Yeah. Some other information. So. Okay. Well, thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. Vegan. The word's vegan. You know. <laughs> all right. Have you seen this standard before, Red Tractor? Yeah, my boyfriend's dad's actually a beef farmer. Is he? Yeah. Here you go, mate. Are you a farmer? Yeah, they're, they're screaming are. and suffering in there. That. Hear that? They only started screaming when they're at the bottom. Uh, I don't think that's the case, my friends. I don't think that's the case. They don't have a clue what's going on. They don't. They don't have a clue. Absolutely not. No. 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 I think you're delusional if you think they do have a clue. Do you I think I'm delusional if I think they're suffering in that gas chamber? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, he's a farmer, but like, look at this. You can agree that like. Let me show you the gas chamber footage here for a sec. I don't need to see him being it murdered because I totally agree with you. All right, so there we go. The only humane food at Morrison's is the vegan food. So go down the grocery aisle, or if it says vegan on it, get that. But mm. <laughs> these pasties are delicious, cruelty free. Doesn't oh, yeah. that look delicious? No, it looks disgusting. That has got um, vegan Cornish bits. pasties have meat in them. That's why they're called Cornish pasties. <laughs> Shove that in your great no. Sussex donut Keep hole. Keep it away. <laughs> I don't know what Pierce Morgan's problem is, but don't listen to this stamp. You never know what you're getting. With vegan food, you know what you're getting. Let's go.